We know that prostate size correlates with certain PSA levels, but the relationship between PSA and actually developing symptoms in men are unknown. That's why we did a post hoc analysis from the REDUCE study. REDUCE is a four-year multi-center randomized clinical trial testing dutasteride for prostate cancer risk reduction. It was an ideal study for us to use given it had a large number of men who had baseline or asymptomatic and we can follow them every six months of international prostate symptom scores for a four-year period. We excluded men with prior BPH therapy as well as IPSS greater than seven. We ended up having 3,060 men in our study after eliminating men with missing data. We found that PSA as a continuous variable was associated with increased risk of having incident LUTs. Likewise, a baseline PSA greater than six was associated with a 50% increase in risk of incident LUTs compared to PSA less than four. What do these findings mean? These findings suggest that men who are asymptomatic but have higher PSA, greater than six in particular, are at increased risk of developing symptomatic BPH.